Good morning, I'm Jodo Wale, professor at the University of Bologna, and I will be your instructor for the lessons on karst. Now we will see the typical landforms formed by these karst processes that show the different morphologies that are shaped by the karst process. These are typical landscapes and landforms that derive from the dissolution of the rock meaning that we find this only in karst areas, so in places where you have limestone, dolostone or gypsum at the surface. One of the, uh, the things we have to say, you saw it already in the reaction, that we can have forms of destruction, so the water that is dissolving and taking away the rock, and this is brought away by the, by the water, and you have forms of construction, because in certain places the CO2 can escape from the water, so Calcium carbonate get, comes, comes out of the water, becomes rock again. So that's construction. That's these waterfalls, for example, this travertine. You know? The main forms that are very interesting for karst geomorphologists are the dolines, which is typical of karst areas. These are closed depressions. Dol means valley in Slovenian, because in a karst area, normally you don't have valleys. You don't have water and a river flowing through it because the river that cuts a limestone, for example, is doomed to go underground. It will find caves and go underground. So a valley normally doesn't, exi doesn't exist in a karst area. All the water goes underground. No. Meaning that there's no valleys, so these guys, these Slovenian guys, don't have valleys and they have dolinas, <laughs> which is this closed depression, and that's their valleys. No, that's the typical way Water goes underground, in fact. So it rains, the water on the slopes goes down to the bottom of this closed depression and goes underground. That's typical of karst areas. They can be of various sizes. You can have, this is very big, it is about 300 meters deep. On the bottom there's a lake, meaning you uh, reach the water table. And this is a collapsed dolina. So in, in fact there was a big void that formed and then at a certain moment the roof collapsed and went inside. Uh, these are all morphologies in Croatia. The typical thing as well are blind valleys. That's the name of them. That's the river coming from uh, the impervious material. From, from clays, from shales, from granites, whatever. Meets the limestone. This is limestone or dolostone, whatever. And it goes on the ground. So it disappears on the ground. That's why it's called blind valleys. It doesn't have an outlet. It, it doesn't continue. It's blind. No. That's typical of karst areas. On the other side, the river disappears. You don't find it anymore. So you have a landscape outside, no rivers. At the other side of the mountain, the river comes out again. No. So the river has an underground path. Uh, coming out, it means it's a spring. So you have the water coming out from a vertical wall. Normally, like in this case, this is Ombla Spring in Croatia, and they are called pocket valleys. Because normally a valley, you can follow it upstream, up to the spring, you know. In this case, you follow it up to a big wall, <laughs> where there's a big spring, but there's a big river coming out, that's not a small spring, you know. Then you go much more upstream and you find the river disappearing. So it's called pocket valleys because of this. Typical is also dry valleys. Because if there's a lot of water, that changes over the season, of course. If, if it rains a lot, the water, the river, starts flowing and can go and penetrate deep into a karst mountain. Because the mountain itself is not able to take away the water immediately. Okay? So the water flows on the karst mountain and slowly disappears. In many swallow holes is the name. So you can have these dry valleys. The whole year through, you, you can walk in these valleys, there's no water. One day in a year, there can be water flowing in there. You know, because the, water, the mountain is not able to, to take all the water in. And that's typical here in, in this area as well. It's full of these dry valleys. These dry valleys are formed mainly, mainly in periods where there's more rain. So here in Supramonte, for example, now it doesn't rain a lot, but in the past probably it rained more. So we have a lot of these valleys, which are never active. So today we don't see them uh, with water. We never see them with water. Canyons, that's also typical. 
Uh, limestone is a very solid uh, rock which can uh, stand on vertical walls and be stable. It's a bit like uh, basalts. That's the two rocks that have these vertical walls. Granite, for example, doesn't make this. Sandstone does this, like the Grand Canyon. You know? So that's typical of a karst area. Limestone makes these vertical walls along valleys, which are gorgeous or canyons. That's the Côte du Verdun in France, for example, which is one of the most beautiful canyons in the world, probably. And this is Goropu, which is here in Supramonte. Smaller morpho morphologies, you see the people over there. So this is uh, something like a decimeter width. These are small runnels, is the name. Uh, dissolution on the rock uh, takes away the rock by solution, no? and uh, makes all small valleys. We can call this small valleys, more or less. And that's typical of, of soluble rocks. You cannot find this on granite. Say, it's difficult to find it on granite. You can find it in the tropical areas in granite. These are even smaller. This is centimeter size as width of these small karen features. Karen as well is again a Slovenian word. Many words of karst come from Slovenia because that's the place where all this, these things were studied in 1800 and something. Karen means uh, stone. Rillen karen, which are the smallest one. This is a small flower of a centimeter size. So these are very small solution runnels or karen, rillen karen. We will see them when we go to Tiskali. They be can become bigger. That's always, al always my foot. This a decimeter size. These are called rinen karen. These are, uh, this is a Slovenian word with a German word before because it was uh, studied by a Swiss geologist in the early 1900s. Rinenkarn, which are the bigger ones. And then we have typical things as well, are these solution pans, so kamenice, again a Slovenian word, which are complete sort of basins, closed basins, very small, so up to a couple of meters, but normally they're the size like this. And they have a completely flat floor. So this is completely horizontal. And this is uh, caused by dissolution as well. So, uh, algae, which live in there, when there's a bit of water, they bring a lot of CO2 and make the dissolution happen on a flat surface. Normally it has a sort of runnel coming out of there.